Hey guys, how's it going? Episode 80. Who knew? We thought that we were going to have this thing done quick, but hey. And winter's back. Hey guys, how's it going? We are on episode 80. It's uh, 61 degrees out. Going to be a little chilly. It's supposed to be rainy also this episode, so we'll have to see how that goes. But we're getting a bunch of stuff done. We got a bunch of things rattling in the back. Got some aluminum here for some instrument panels. And um, whoop, got some, uh, get over on your side of the road, dude. And uh, we've got some instrument panel sub panels. We've got those roughed out. We're going to try to get those sorted today or this episode, um, today, tomorrow, whatever. We've got uh, the pre oil system. If you saw that last week, we bled the pumps out. The uh, Everything's working good. We're ready to float the engines. And the only thing I want to do there is I've got to find the drain fittings for the rocker boxes so that we can make sure we don't fill the engine up with oil and leave it that way and have it bleed oil. So we're gonna try to get that sorted this episode. Uh, probably get into rigging, actually rigging the propeller controls and things like that. We gotta make sure all the push-pull controls are still working. Um, see what kind of sheet metal things we gotta do. Lots of little things. We're gonna be doing alodining. I'll show you how, how I was taught to do alodining. So, um, or chemical chem film, I think is the industry calls it. So uh, anyway, that's what's going on this episode. Uh, let's go see what's going on in the hangar. Hey guys, we are in the middle of a torrential downpour, so you probably can't hear me, or maybe you can. But what we're going to do is we're going to uh, head over to Terry. He's at Sun and Fun, and he's giving us some reports back from some of the vendors he went and said hi to to. So over to you, Terry. We've got Greg here for PS Engineering. Hey, Bill. So thanks to this guy for the generous donation to the Hollywood Bomber Project. Hey Bill, we found somebody else that, that donated to the Hollywood Bomber Project. Just saying, hey, thanks. Awesome, we're glad to be a part of it. Hey, we're here at Sun of Fun 2024 saying thank you to all the wonderful vendors that have provided stuff. Uh, Cleveland was very generous to donate wheels, brakes, but that's in an earlier video. I'll go back and watch that one. Hey, we're here with Concord Battery saying thanks for the donation to the museum and the Hollywood Bomber. Yes, thank, thank you, you again, Terry and George, for coming out here and visiting us. Concord Battery really supports all of their museums. We know that we're very happy to support you guys there. And uh, thank you for keeping those birds up there flying. Anything we can do to help you out, please reach out. Hey, Terry, thanks a lot for the update. And okay, now back to your regularly scheduled mayhem. So here we are inside the aircraft and um, Joey and Katrina are hiding from the brake bleeding operation, which is actually quite wise. Okay, what are you guys up to? <laughs> We're uh, identifying circuits um, and abandoning them. Yeah, we can. so we've got, uh, we got rid of, yesterday we got rid of the wipers. Um, did, yes. I think we left a wiper rheostat or a heater rheostat on the right side that can probably come out on the bottom one. Yeah. But uh, yeah, what what else have you got? You got any other questions on this stuff? An old flare. Circuit. Flare. Yeah, flare. take the flare out. Um, on the top, if you look at that other panel, the top right, all those missing ones, those are all radios. So it was a breaker switch for every radio. So those I got out. Um, and then I'm just using the cover plates as a go by of stuff we know for sure. And then I I marked them with sharpie with an X on the cover plates. I don't know if you got them in here, but I'll get them for you. Uh, just so you know which ones to get rid of. But yeah, just keep taking stuff out. The old, old fuel level fuel the circuit, is that going to be? We're going to use, we're going to, I would leave the wire in there because we're going to use the wire. Yeah. But take the breaker out and kill it. Mark the flag and mark every wire that you're taking out. Uh, but you can harvest all of the breakers off that panel and the bus bar and all that, take all that junk out. That's all going to be redone with new stuff. But mark the wires so that way we know what they go to. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Yeah. And in the meantime, you can see there's gremlins up there doing brake things. <laughs> so uh, lots of stuff going on. Okay. Okay. And Katrina's Martin looking at wiring there. I'm looking at wiring. I have wiring a big there. shadow of my big um. microphone. Anyway, fun stuff. Learning all about Beechcraft wires. We are 
Hey, let's see what uh, Chase is up to. Chase is back. If you remember Chase, he paint, or taped off. Uh, who did you do that with? You, ch you taped off the back of the. With, uh, who was, who was with you that time? It was Tyler. I think Tyler was with Tyler, me. maybe? Yeah. yeah. Okay, but anyway, those guys got that taped a while ago, but we finally got that painted, so where the Concord is. I mean, a little triangle, so. Anyway, we uh, <coughs> we chased Chase off for a uh, better part of a year, but he's back. <laughs> so, what are you doing, man? I'm, um, I'm cleaning the gunk off of all the screws and washers and everything that attaches to the lamp. Yeah. All all the uh, for the gear door stuff, right? Yeah, and I'm making sure that all is clean. Okay, and it looks like um, so I've got a short. This is um, Dallas is over here right next to me. So I've got one of the short turnbuckle. So I guess it's inboard yeah. outboard thing. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. The inboards are longer. The outboards are shorter. Okay. And I think what I'd like to do is take those with me and paint them this weekend. Okay. This week. Okay. Cool. Anyway, Chase is scrubbing, cleaning, and he's got his portable parts washer with mineral spirits, and that was that was fresh stuff this morning, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So anyway, okay. Back to it. Okay. Let's see what Ashlyn's doing. She's over here in the right landing gear well. In fact, I'm going to. She's got a light over here. I'm going to come down low. And okay, what are you doing, kiddo? All right, so we are putting this bracket on that holds the bolt that goes to the linkage. So it basically attaches the landing gear door to the wheel well. Okay. And we were, uh, we were talking to uh, Chase. Chase is getting all your turnbuckles yeah. set up. He is. Yeah. yeah. So as you can see on this side, it's removed. He's getting that one all cleaned up. It was really gunky and nasty, kind of like how that looks. Now was that, was that block threaded at all in, inside of that block? No, it's not threaded. See what that's? Yeah, it's, it's smooth. So there's nothing to thread. Um, the top can turn. And then the bottom obviously has threads so for the that's, nuts. And that's why we, when we get that other door, it had to stack washers. Yeah. So we're just doing the same washers. Yeah, so we have threads here and then threads where this it's, top can turn. It's almost like the, in it's here almost it's like the parts strength. manual is missing something. It does seem like that. Yeah, kind yeah. of sketch. So anyway, we're learning more about the Twin Beach. Okay. Yeah. And as you can see, okay, hold on. Let's see what your hands look like. Oh, yeah. Hands, we're a little dirty. A little dirty. Not too bad. I've cleaned but, them. <laughs> but not, <laughs> not grease ball. So no. this whole thing's getting cleaner and cleaner. Okay, no, we're going to let Ashlyn but get back to it. Hey guys, how's it going? Episode 80. Who knew? 80, episode 80. Anyway, lots of stuff getting done this episode. We're going to walk around. We've got our super duper camera person behind the uh, camera. So, uh, stuff going on in the in the cabin. We had Joey and Katrina pulling wires up in the cabin area, in the cockpit area, taking out all the old stuff like the anti-ice, uh, the anti-ice wiring, some of the heater wiring, and some of that stuff, and also just identifying a lot of the other basic ship wiring. So the cockpit is getting cleaned up, uh, so Mike and the others can go in there and do their stuff. So it's it's coming along pretty well. Also, Katrina ended up moving some instruments and adding the uh, carburetor temp and the EGT gauge. Just put those in the instrument panel. We'll have some pictures for you probably next episode on that. So those are coming in. We had some instruments that had fallen out of uh, repair. Those were brought back, or those are replaced, so they're up at the shop. We've got the other instruments, manifold pressure and tachometers. I believe those are done and some others, so we're, we're getting, we're starting to dial in the instrument panel. We have most of the idiot lights in. I've got to order two more, and then we'll be almost in a place to install that thing. So that'll start getting wired in, and then also the pedostatic plumbing will all get attached to that. So that's what's going on there. Walking up the aircraft. Um, actually, big stuff here, big news. Uh, we've got the fuel tanks and we've got a donor. Um, our donor, Dave, or pardon me, our vendor, soon to be donor, Dave, has uh, thrown, the, thrown the challenge down to us for every one of these fuel tanks we can get installed and complete by the end of the month. He's going to give us a donation. So the race is on, we think. We can get three out of four if we're lucky. Maybe we'll get four out of four. So Dave, get your checkbook out. We're, uh, we're gonna challenge you. So that's what's going on there. Um, again, we, fit, uh, we were able to fit the main tanks in. We put them in, fit them in. We've got some hoses to get ordered. We've got those measured out. Um, the wiring set up, the felt and all that is in. So we're, we're getting close. We've got to replace some of the fabric up in the forward edge there. So I'll probably pop in this week and get that done real quick but we took that off when Sebastian and the other guys were doing the uh, vent tube and all that so you can see where those 
three holes are, those will be replaced. And we'll make those pretty. So that's going on there. Uh, around the airplane, we had uh, Ashland and um, Dallas were working on landing gear doors. So we've got the doors back on. These were stripped this uh, last week. So they're all stripped. Um, and then we've got the links are uh, all been pulled out. Uh, they're going to go to for bead blast and paint. They'll get final paint, uh, pretty paint this week. And then uh, we've got batteries are supposed to ship this week. So when we get the batteries in, we'll have the ability to bring the landing gear up. So that's a good thing. Once we get the landing gear uh, where we can retract it, we'll set the doors in, get all the links rigged and all that stuff. Um, Ashlyn was working on all the stack ups as far as all the washers. So we'll probably have to do some adjusting of that, but the doors will be essentially rigged. Once they get rigged, they'll go out for detail, final finish out, prime paint, and uh, then they will go on the aircraft for good. So that's going on there. Uh, coming around the um, oil system, we, we did that last week. The oil system is essentially complete. The only uh, pacing item we had was the drain, rocker drain uh, hoses and all that. And uh, Dr. Bill and I were able to figure out a um, fitting that goes in there. So we're set on that. We've got to get some hoses and all that. I did not want to pre-oil the engine without having the ability to do uh, keep the rocker drains, uh, have, those, have those open. So we've got the quick drains. We just had needed a fitting in there. So we're in great shape that way. So that's good. Um, Dallas and uh, Chase were working on rigging of the, uh, I think we've got the carburetor rigged. We've got the, uh, I think the mixture of carb heat and throttle are rigged on number one engine. And then uh, we should have the number two engine. Uh, Richard and Joey had the bracket, got the, the new sheet metal bracket for the number two engine carburetor housing and all that. That you'll see next week. That's gonna go into paint this week. Number two carburetor can then go on. Our biggest challenge is going to be able to is getting both throttles matched, uh, throttles, propeller, carb heat, and get all those matched up on the console. So that is a great challenge to have. Coming around again, some more. Um, we had uh, up in the nose, huge thing. We had, and I'm going to leave some folks out, but we had uh, Dr. Bill um, and uh, Dallas. And I think maybe Ashlyn was in there. Chase might have been in there. I forget who. Long story short, all of the brakes have been installed. All of them have been quality call. We, we, we uh, gave them a quality cut, and they've been bled. The brake system is 100% airworthy. Done. All new hoses, all new master cylinders, all that stuff is done. So it's, it's greatness. So that's, that's awesome. So that's good. The, um, so it's basically signed off, ready to fly. So now we can stop the plane. we got to... We got to work on the go parts. The uh, on that note, the fuel system. We are going to take the main fuel selector valves out. Uh, looking at those, they have a cure date of 1961, so that's about 60 years ago. So we're going. We assume that that's a great place for a leak to happen. So the uh, selector, fuel selector, left and right. We've got the kits coming from Thomas up at 18 North. So that'll be going on, um, and a bunch of other stuff. So yeah, Gary, you missed out on bleeding the brakes. I know you really wanted to be there. But <clears> that was actually a terrible job. But the uh, the guys got that done, so that's great. I'm trying to think of other stuff going on. That's probably about it for this episode. Lots of stuff, just lots of things going on. Uh, you can hear. We'll walk over here and we'll look at Dallas's table. You can see Dallas's table is getting pretty darn empty. Um, on things that got did get full, we'll come over here. And this is some of the stuff, Big Mike, this is some of the stuff we took out. This is just a bag of stuff. One of the things we're taking out of this aircraft, we'll show you here, are some of these big format switches and uh, where they're all screwed into a sub-panel. We're removing that sub-panel and also the breakers. We've got some of these, these were some of the old format breakers. We've got even some more stuff in here in the bag. Just lots of stuff. That's coming out of those sub-panels and we're going to be actually front mounting or rear mounting the um, the breakers with the new style new style breakers that had just have a nut on them so that's going to work out quite well so that's this is just some more of the stuff that's coming out of this this is probably two three pounds on its own so anyway the electrical stuff is going it's happening we've got a like i said we've got a lot of challenges coming up here in the next couple of weeks but it's going great long story short 
Uh, the, the Hollywood Bomber is doing great. We're actually having a great time of it. We are planning on, uh, we're still planning on getting this thing run in the springs and hopefully Air Ventures is on the trip. We'll see how it goes. The uh, channel is, Hol is Hangar Rats. The project is Hollywood Bomber. I'm Bill on behalf of the crew. Thank you very much. This plane will fly. Let me know when. Go for it. Okay, I'm sorry. Chance of rain. <laughs> 